So I am in Rome, New York, uh, to see a production of. Oh, look at it! It's a wonderful life is gonna be here. Oh, I gotta bring my friend because she's never seen it. So cool! It's so cool to find somebody who's never seen it's a wonderful life. Um, I've never <laughs> seen this theater. Um, I don't think I've ever. Have I ever walked around in Rome, New York before? I don't know. Um, it's. You know, pretty... Well, they've got diagonal parking, which is different than where I live. Um, and look at this. Look at this beautiful theater. It was worth coming here just to see the theater at night. Theater in Rome, and I'm going in now. I've already been in, but I'm just gonna walk in again to show you what it looks like when you go in. I already came in. Yeah, uh, I thought those were children, they were adults. So people are in line here for um, popcorn and things like that. It's just that they're all bottled up right at this. It's really not that. Oh, look at. Oh, look at. That. Oh, look at. Oh, I love theaters. Excuse me. Oh, look at this. Oh. Is there anything more beautiful than the light on a theater curtain? Oh my god. It makes me want to cry. It just makes me want to cry. This is what I. It's in my blood, man. Jeez, oh, I feel like... I feel like... You know, like... Like if you're gone from home for a long time, and then you finally come home. And that feeling. <laughs> That's how it feels walking into a theater for me. Haven't been in one in a while. Have never been in this one. It's a pretty little theater. Um, beautiful um, lit sign out front that they've kept from the original theater in 1928. So, actually, um, I think we've got time to go upstairs and look around. So, uh, of course, things work different now. This is uh, the production board and stuff. Now let's see what it looks like to walk up the stairs. Excuse me. Okay. I've never done this before. Come with me. I'm going over here. <laughs> that it's uh like most old theaters it's supposed to be haunted everything's haunted these days oh, oh look at this there's a large sitting area when you first walk up it's a little sitting area there it's probably where Lincoln was I do have to go to Ford's theater sometime uh, oh look at this look at this uh, Telephone. Oh my heavens, let's see. Does it open? No. Oh, it does open. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to do something really stupid now. Oh my god, there's a dial tone. Hmm? <laughs> hello, hello, can anybody hear me? I'm trapped at the Capitol Theater with a ghost. I don't even believe that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Some nice um, gilded work up there, 1920s style. 
Look at these doors with the ba bunting over them. I don't know what they are. Excuse me, do you know what these doors go to? The studio. Like, oh, the dance studio. Yes, yes. So that's always been yes. connected? Wow, are you connected with the studio? Uh, well, my niece and my daughter dance. Oh, do they? Can I, can I record you? Yeah, just I'm just gonna do my own little YouTube channel. I've never been here before. So, so what? Uh, are you are you from here? Yes. And um, so this is the John Hayes O'Neill. Yep. Okay. And your daughter and niece dance with this. Yes. Wow, that is so cool. Do you know anything about the? You, know, you must know a little bit. Uh, so has the dance studio always been here, connected to the theater? As long as I can remember. I don't know. My niece is a senior. She's about to be 18. And ever since she was four, this is where the dance studio was held. My okay. daughter's only five. So as far as I know, yes. It's, it's always, always been connected. Yeah. Oh, that's it. And they do the Nutcracker every year. Is that right? Yep. Oh, that's and cool. They, Thank you. They, oh, what does that go to? The mezzanine, the balcony. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're going to walk up here and see what the, Oh, look at the men's room. Look at the old sign up here. Manager, oh, this is, these lids are so old. Um, I think, as I said, that it was 1928 that it was built. Okay, so we're gonna walk up here. Never walked up here before. We're gonna see where we're gonna go. Oh, oh look at it. No, there's more. Oh my heavens, it goes way up. Oh, I wouldn't want to be up there. Ooh. That's the lady I was talking to down there. Ooh, now these seats need to be restored. So these are the these are the cheap seats. <laughs> these are the seats from okay, these must be the ones where um, I called and I was I was like, uh, you know, you still got the old wooden chairs and you know, I didn't know if there was padding in the chairs. And um, so I was thinking of bringing a pillow. And uh, the guy told me, all the seats are fine um, and padded, except the ones way up from, there's still some from 1928 up in the balcony. And so these have not been redone yet. So you can see that. My camera's just terrible with, with fuzzy. Look at that, see? Beautiful, look at that. Art Deco. Uh, and then the center of it is, uh, a lot of the older theaters used to have, or have um, chandeliers that hung from the top. This doesn't seem to have anything like that. Huh, well, it looks like a beehive or something. Well, I would really like to come out there and do my own song and dance routine. <laughs>
everybody out in here with his hand. And he's taking it. So just in conclusion, uh, I got my picture taken with Clara. Uh, it was fantastic. She has so much charisma, charisma, beautiful young girl, and you know I hope she has a wonderful career. Um, I'd never seen, of course, I knew, you know, I've seen uh, the Nutcracker on video. Uh, I've never seen it in person. Was what I meant uh, when I was saying I'd never seen it before, and I'd never seen a ballerina in person before. Um, I've seen. Obviously, I've seen my videos, but it's much different to see a production in person uh, than to see something on video. And this was a bucket list thing for me. I wanted to do this decades ago, and um, I've really always wanted to see Nutcracker. And I, I like play the music every year. I'm this big, you know, Tchaikovsky at Christmas person, uh, but never seen it. So, and also, it meant a lot to me to be busy today because today's the. Uh, my for, my mother's uh, the fourth uh, my mother's fourth birthday since she's passed so it's her fourth birthday in heaven and um, this is the first one I've actually dealt well with uh, so because her death was uh, uh, due to negligence at a hospital you know I've come to terms with that uh, pretty well now um, and yes, she was older. People think, you know, like if you're o over 80, then you're expendable. Uh, you know, until they get over 80, then they'll be like, what the heck, you know? But, um, so I was trying to keep busy and boy, did I keep busy. It was wonderful, uh, going to Rome, um, and seeing the Capitol Theater, such beautiful lights, such a beautiful talented cast and got my picture taken with Clara because you know she's a celebrity she is she's fantastic uh, and I mean they're all they were all exceptional they were it was great so I'm just so happy and um, I think my mom would have really liked to have gone with me <laughs> she would have loved it uh, it was fun it was fun actually I think my dad would have liked that too um, especially with all the little kids because you know parents love to see uh, they love to see little kids and the kids were exceptional the way that they uh, participated in the production Merry Christmas everybody